So, now with the lighting here, it's not that great. So, it is officially less than 12 weeks until my race. It is week seven of training. Yeah, that checks out. So the week ahead is going to be a little interesting. I have three shorter midweek runs as usual. Um, one's a speed workout, um, one is six miles, and then the other is just three miles easy. And then my weekend run is supposed to be 12 miles. However, on Saturday, I'm supposed to go visit my old college roommates. So I'm not sure I'll be able to run in the morning like I usually do. So I might have to run it on Friday before work, but we'll see how that goes. Don't hold me to it. I'm walking back from work. It was kind of a rough day today, so I didn't feel much, but here we are. I'm gonna go home, probably finishing work a little early, and then do my run. So we're two thirds of the way done with our mile repeats. So what it is, is one mile at 10 minutes pace, I think, I might be going faster, walk for a little bit, one mile, 10 minutes pace, walk for a little bit, one mile, 10 minutes pace. Hello, it is Tuesday. It is like 4 p.m. almost done with the work day and it is kind of cold but pretty sunny which is making me happy. So yesterday I didn't film much of my run but did three mile repeats but it's really really sunny out which I'm so excited for. Um, I'm not gonna have to work late tonight I don't think so I'm pretty sure as soon as work ends I'm gonna Hop on outside, do three miles. Let's go. But then another part of me is like, well, what if I do six miles today? I don't know why that is like important. Like that's, just think the plan, Kara. I don't know, I don't know. What I am excited for though, is I've told myself when I run those 12 miles, I'm going to a local vegan bakery and I'm getting like the biggest dessert of all time. That is what I'm looking forward to is um, when I run 12 miles, I'm going to be eating good that day. Just popping in to say, I saw Pedro Almodovar's new movie, Parallel Mothers. And that was the juiciest thing I've seen in theaters in like years. That was a wild ride. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning. I'm on the way to get some bagels. It is a brisk but sunny morning, so hopefully the day will be good. So yeah. I can't lie, this week has been like kind of rough mentally. So I'm hoping these bagels and running with the club tonight will cheer me up. just released the maps for the marathon, the course route. I'm pretty excited. So this is the map. The starting point is... I can't tell where the starting point is. Okay, I found it. So it starts and ends downtown. It's so exciting. It's like finally coming together. Wednesday run. Felt really good. I was kind of weirdly nervous for it, I think because I just hadn't done six miles during the week before, but it was nice. Um, the group I was running with did end at three miles, so I just kept on going, which I end like I ended like a quarter mile early just because I always get like nervous running in the evening by myself. Um, but still it was really good um, and I felt really strong, so that was nice much better from seven miles on Sunday when I was feeling awful. So 5.75, good, I'll take. 
it also really did boost my mood, which was nice because this week has been kind of rough for me. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Just spent the day working at a tea shop. It is so cute and I am so caffeinated. I've drank like eight cups of green tea. Still have a couple more hours of work. And then, yeah, it's like a beautiful, warm, sunny day. Definitely much improved from the rest of this week. So I don't know why my front camera is not really working, but um, yeah, about four miles in, feeling pretty good. My right foot is hurting a little bit, but I'm hoping it'll like shake out. Yeah, here's St. Paul's Cathedral. And then I don't know what these buildings are but they look pretty sick so as you may or may not remember on Monday I was unsure if I was gonna do my long run on Friday or Saturday but today is Friday it's 8 a.m. I have to check but I think I'm like eight miles in eight miles and change feeling good um, surprisingly good and it's really sunny and warm so yeah it does feel long without other people though. I can say that much. We did it. 12 miles in the books, 8.30 in the morning. That's the longest I've run since 2019. Feeling crazy good. And happily I had, I think it's negative splits where each mile is faster than the next, which I was really happy about. I took the first like purposely really, really, really slow. Um, and I think it paid off. Although the last like half mile the wheels fell off and I just walked, but I think that was more me mentally quitting than anything. But I feel really good, hydrated, ate my dried apricots, um, just like 30 grams of carbs because I was out for a while. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna walk home, caffeinate and get some food in me and stretch. Not in that order, <laughs> probably the reverse order. Maybe shower and then log into work. It does feel like so crazy that it's just like a day, like I just ran 12 miles and I'm about to like go on with my whole day. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of like that bitch right now, I can't lie. So it's like 1 p.m. right now showered, working. Today is super chill at work um, since we have a lot of people on vacation today. Um, yeah, just kind of chilling out. I'm at a weird spot where like I feel like I've been eating all day. I, I haven't really like, I'm sure if you calculate out my calories it would be like just slightly higher than normal. If that, but I can't tell if I'm still hungry or if I'm just tired. But I've learned on my long run days that it's better that I eat more than I think I have to on those days because if not the day after, I'm gonna like lose my mind eating everything. So I think it will be interesting to keep track of throughout the rest of training how like any changes to my body or eating or anything I notice. Um, now that I'm over a third in, I haven't noticed really any changes in my hunger specifically. I know a lot of people start feeling really hungrier, but I haven't experienced that yet. Um, I have been needing more sleep though. I've definitely been feeling more tired, um, just like needing sleep. And in terms of like body changes, um, I can't tell if I've gained or lost any weight. I don't think I have. I also don't have a scale in my house. 
Um, I know some people gain, some people lose, but I think I've just been the same so far. Um, I have noticed my legs have definitely gotten more muscular, and I've noticed that I've lost definition in my abs, which is interesting. Um, but I started training when I was, like, pretty lean, so um, that's, I'm sure that's to be expected. But it'll be interesting to see how things go. So it's, like, 11.40 p.m. I just got home. I went to a bar for a little bit of dancing with my friends. I've been out for almost 20 hours and started the day with 12 miles and tomorrow I'm gonna be driving five hours to see my friends in New York. Why? Because I'm stupid and 22 years old. That's the reason why. But I didn't drink and I'm ready to pass out and it's not, it's not even midnight so be able to get a good night's sleep in and then head off. I also want to get a good look at the happy going outfit. You know, we got the, the tights, the top, the back. I think it looks pretty good. And you can't see that I have my combat boots. <laughs> hey, it's Saturday. I'm about to, it's like 9 a.m. I'm about to leave to drive to New York. I am having, I'm trying, I got this from Whole Foods, this little treat. It's a golden turmeric superfood oatmeal. It's pretty good. It is like the thickest oatmeal I've ever had. Maybe it's because I didn't add enough water, but like, this is gonna sit like a rock in my stomach in a good way, like when I'm in the car. It's, here's the, I don't know if this interests anyone, but we're in the mood for an oatmeal. Not too bad.